and I'm pleased to recognize representatives of the Anishinaabe Algonquin Nation. Last week, Ottawa City Council voted in favor of a reconciliation plan that will run from this year to 2026. Part of it is to have an elder sit on City Council. Kitigan ZB Anishinaabeg Chief Dylan White Duck says it will be a major step forward. Although this this individual won't have a, a voting power or a, a vote, uh, and with you know regalities and all that stuff that has to be taken into consideration, um, this is still a very positive step to have someone that we could uh, uh, call and, and 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 ask you know what's going on in the city of Ottawa, and for that vice versa. Algonquins of Pickwanagan First Nation Chief Wendy Jocko agrees that it builds upon the relationship between her First Nation and the city. I feel that Mayor Watson and his council clearly recognize the voice and the presence of the Algonquin and Nationality Nation uh, in the city of Ottawa and recognizing the Algonquins, as I mentioned, as the host nation. So um, the uh, appointment, uh, you know, of the uh, elder as the ex officio or a non-voting member uh, certainly is a great step forward. White Duck also says it means that Algonquin have a seat at the table when it comes to development projects. He says in the past his First Nation has sometimes been kept in the dark, such as the proposed Taywin housing project southeast of the city. You know there were some some in my opinion, uh, some 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 back deals that happened with the city of Ottawa and developers, and you know we were pushed to the sideline. And but now that we have a voice and we have and someone that's going to be there to listen about all the ongoing stuff that's going to be happening within the city, um, we won't be blindsided by stuff like this anymore. City official Natalie Zaniga acknowledges it has taken a long time to put the reconciliation plan together. So the host nation put forward certain principles and certain commitments that we need um, to to take into consideration in order to develop this relationship and and this collaboration with them. And for for the city, it was important to hear and, and, and to follow these recommendations. The plan will also include the removal of Indigenous themed mascots and symbols from non Indigenous city teams and the inclusion of Indigenous languages in city buildings. Fraser Needham, AP10 National News, Ottawa.